So Nikon just bought Red. Yes, the company that everyone made fun of for being a potato factory just bought the company that makes cinema cameras. Now, I don't think anyone saw this coming, but it's kind of a big deal. This could mean there's actually a possibility that Sony, Canon, and all other camera manufacturers might actually get internal compressed RAW for video. Might, let me explain. If you've ever wondered why in 2024, how far technology has come, why is it that we don't have internal compressed raw video in our cameras? Well, that's because RED actually patented their video compression technology a long time ago. And that patent doesn't currently end until 2037. Since then, manufacturers have been trying to implement internal compressed RAW into their cameras, but it has led to many lawsuits. Red suing these manufacturers for infringing on that patent. But Nikon a couple years ago released the Z9, and a couple years later, the Z8, which are both incredible cameras. In these cameras, they included internal compressed RAW. Red sued them, and up until last year, the case was dismissed. Now, nobody really knows what they agreed on, whether Nikon licensed or paid for the license to use it, it's still unclear why the lawsuit was dismissed and why the Nikon Z9 was still able to keep that internal compressed RAW. But fast forward to yesterday when a press release from Nikon goes out saying that they are acquiring RED, which makes you think maybe Nikon was like, hey look, you're a smaller company, you could use some money after all these lawsuits, We'll buy your company, it will still be red, we're not going to rebrand anything, we'll support you financially and help with the resources and manufacturing so that you can keep making these amazing cameras, maybe even make them quicker. That could be what happened, but what does that actually mean for us? Are we gonna see some big changes from Nikon or RED? Well, we'll probably see some new RED cameras coming out with Nikon's Z mount, considering that most REDs currently on the market use Canon RF mount, which is Nikon's biggest competitor. So why would Nikon sell a camera and have their customers go to their competitor to buy lenses for that camera. Now, I don't know about you, but I would love to have internal compressed raw video in my cameras. Being able to adjust things like white balance and having more flexibility in post, just like we do with photos, would be a game changer. And manufacturers know that that's what we want. So what does this mean for us? What does this mean for the Sony shooters and the Canon shooters, Lumix, and all these other shooters on these other systems? Is there a possibility that we will be seeing internal compressed raw video without waiting 13 years? Yes, there is a chance. There's two things that I can personally see happen here. Number one, now that Nikon owns a patent to this video compression technology and they know manufacturers want the license to use it, they might actually license it out to all of these manufacturers for a hefty price tag, which if this happens, other manufacturers will jump on it super quick and we'll probably see new cameras coming out with internal compressed RAW for video which would be awesome because I would love to have it on my FX30 and my a7 IV. This is personally what I can see happening sometime in the future. Nikon opening it up and allowing manufacturers to license it at a cost, doing what RED should have done in the first place. On the flip side, Nikon could very well do what RED did, not allow any company to use it, and Nikon will be the only cameras that have internal compressed RAW. If they do that, they might draw more people to buy a Nikon, but at the same time, why haven't we already switched to the Z8 or the Z9 or Z9? I have a feeling like Nikon knows this and not only bought RED to get into the cinema game, but also because of that patent, a patent that they can license out to other manufacturers and make a ton of money off of it, which means there's a strong chance that we can see other cameras with internal compressed RAW very soon, if that's what they do. I think this was a smart move for Nikon, but let me know what you think about this down below. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.